Hi, welcome back to Akito's YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at how to enroll the three passwordless methods that Azure offers, such as phone authentication, FIDO2, and Azure CBA using Easy Smart Card. Now let's get started. So in here we have my test account that doesn't have anything other than phone authentication. To enroll this user, we could use either government face ID, which is where we scan the face of the user, they scan their ID, and we match that with what we have of information in HR and they can enroll from home or reset their authentication methods from home without having to contact IT or existing user accounts. So if the user already has an account with multi-factor authentication, they can use that to authenticate and get access to create their credentials. So in this case, we're gonna use existing user account. We're gonna request identity and we're gonna start first with the hardware identity. So in here, I'm just gonna enter the pin for the YubiKey that is connected to my computer. And I'm gonna request the identity. What this is gonna do in the background, it is actually gonna go create a certificate connected to our PKI for Azure certificate based authentication. And it's gonna create a FIDO2 key as well and register it in Azure. So we can see that the certificate is being created and now we're registering the FIDO2 key. It's using the same PIN for both of them. So the user doesn't really know if it's FIDO2 or certificate. It, for them, it's all the same. And that registered our hardware keys. So we're gonna open here an incognito tab and we're gonna go to portal.azure.com. We're gonna enter our user account. We're gonna select our certificate. We're gonna enter the pin that we just created. Click OK. Touch our YubiKey. And we're authenticated. And now to show our FIDO2 key, we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to my sign in so we can actually see the FIDO2 key. We're gonna sign in options, sign with a security key. Enter the same pin, touch the UV key, and we can see here the key has been registered by Easy Smarker and has added the serial number as the name of the UV key. Now that we have these two, we go back to Easy Smart Card and we are gonna do phone enrollment. So for this one, it will go, it'll give the user the instructions on how to download the application. And here it's gonna show a video on how to add the account on the applications when it has been created. So we're gonna click OK, and we're gonna follow those steps in our cell phone. So we're gonna click that plus, scan the QR code, wait for it to be activated. And then we're gonna click next. It's gonna send an approval sign in. We are gonna click approve fingerprint in, then I say, I have approved this request. It's gonna validate, and now it's gonna give you a one-time passcode to enable phone sign-in. So for that, we're gonna go in the phone, and we're gonna click the setup phone sign-in for this account. We're gonna click continue. We're gonna enter the pass that Easy Smarker gave us. We're gonna sign in, and we're gonna wait for the device to register. And once it's registered, it will be ready for passwordless authentication with a cell phone. So that's how you enroll the three passwordless authentication methods in Azure using Easy Smart Card. Thank you for watching, and I hope this gets you one step closer to passwordless.